There's no cure for racing. You're not even going broke. The only cure for racing is uh, the end of our lives, not the end of our career. By far the best series I've ever raced in um, dollar for dollar. I can race all year on a quarter of what it would cost me to run anything else. Here you can beat it out or make a new one and be back the next week. It's, it's really an affordable series. I really like it. It's nice to come back you know, and have the car slide around and you know, put it back in the driver's hands. I, I like that. Hey guys, Olivia here, and I am at what used to be known as Jenner's Fairgrounds, back when they very first started running here in the 1930s as a quarter mile track. Well, it's now been a paved half mile track for 50 years, and it is the absolute perfect location for the single biggest race of the racing season. You've seen our Northern Division champion, you've seen our Southern Division champion, and this is it. I want to welcome you to the 2017 Super Cup Stock Car Series National Championship Race. We join you with a four-wide salute from the Super Cup Stock Car Series to the fans here at Jennerstown Speedway. Hello, everybody. I'm Gene Crane, along with Olivia Pritchett. We'll bring you all the action tonight in the second of Twin 50s presented by United Tire and Service. Field getting set for the second Twin 50. Let's look at our starting lineup. J.P. Crabtree on the inside of row one in car 42. He's joined by the 80 car, Brent Nelson. Ben Ebling has the 44 on the inside of row two and defending champion Harvey Harrison on the outside, the 51. Brian Harrison's car 15 lines up inside row three and the point leader, Chip Crabtree Jr. on the outside in car 63. The 21 of Stephen Cox is inside row four and Larry Wilcox on the outside in the 66 car. We move to row number five. On the inside will be Tim Richardson in the 90R and on the outside, Bill Ashton in car 35. John Kemerinsky has the 33 inside row six, and Trent Gosser on the outside, the 71 car. Ron Langdon in the 90L lines up inside row seven. He's joined by the 47 of Brent Cross. The 12 car of Mike Potter is inside row number eight, and Brian Coltrider has the 07 on the outside. Row number nine, we'll see the 72 line up to the inside. That's Jared Brocker, one of the local drivers. And on the outside in the three car is Jason Shue. Driver changes in row number 10. Larry Bird now in the seven car. And Kyle Kromer in the 77 car. They bring up the back of the field. Field lines up two by two, ready to go with 50 laps to decide the national championship here tonight at Jitterstown Speedway. Off of turn four, J.P. Crabtree and Brent Nelson. They'll haul it off to turn one and battle for that lead side by side. Looks like Crabtree might have just a little advantage. A nose out front as they work off a of turn two. Here comes Nelson. Nelson on the outside battles back and he'll put a nose out front just by a little bit as they go into turn three. Harvey Harris and a bit of like now third and fourth as they cross start finish. Leader will be J.P. Crabtree here on lap number one. But here's Brent Nelson as they battle for the lead. They battle for second in points as well as a shot at the championship. Down the back straightaway, Nelson's going to take the lead from J.P. Crabtree, who's second behind his father in the point standings. Really, that's the one I'm actually trying to beat is my dad because I'm trying to follow in his footsteps. He's, you know, the point leader and I'm second, so to finish by ahead of him helped me tremendously in the points. So anything can happen in this next 50 laps. I know that he has to finish ninth or better. So, I mean, it could be a hope. No, I don't want to, you know, wish him bad luck, but it could be a scenario where, you know, he not, might not finish the race and then we're just right there to pick up the championship. But anything can happen. So. Oh, yeah, you've got to be excited. I'm, I'm pumped. I mean, even if I finish second, I'll be happy with the season the way it went. Just got to thank everybody that's helped me, you know, USA Tire and uh, my brother's uh, landscaping business and everybody. And it's just been a total team effort. Well, both drivers come into this event, 11 points separating them in that second position, but still chasing Jim Crabtree Jr. Brett Nelson, your race leader, J.P. Crabtree, Harvey Harrison, Ben Hamling, and the point leader, Jim Crabtree Jr. Make up your top five. More from Jennerstown right after this. The Super Cup Stock Car Series is brought to you by Patrick Miller Photography and by G-Force Racing Gear, your home for quality, innovation, and value. Once again, an outstanding crowd here at Jennerstown Speedway for Super Cup Stock Car Action. The Jennerstown Speedway Twin 50s presented by United Tire and Service here in the 10th anniversary season of the Super Cup Stock Car Series. Up front, Brent Nelson, car number 80, 
shows the way over J.P. Crabtree. Those two have a breakaway. Third is Harvey Harrison handling and Jim Crabtree Jr. battling it out for fourth and fifth with Brian Harrison also right there in the mix. Leaders across start finish. Brett Nelson has been dominant here at Jennerstown Speedway. We spoke to him earlier about the changes for tonight's race. The track here, it will change, you know, as the evening goes on. It's right now, it's pretty warm, but uh, the track's going to tighten up, you know, over the course of the day, and we got to make the right adjustments. I hope we've got it right for race time. Now, what is your secret to doing so well here? You've taken home two first place finishes this season at Jennerstown. Well, you know, we've ran a lot of laps here at Jennerstown, and every year we change a little bit here, a little bit there, and every year we step it up, and, uh, you know, we hit the numbers right the last time we ran up here, and so far today, you know, in practice, the car's very good. Feels like right back where it was when we won the last two, so, you know, I think we'll be good. Nelson has two wins and a fourth here in 2017 competition at Jennerstown Speedway. So he's looking to maybe add one more to it, but GP Crabtree has never been to victory lane and he continues to dog him. Now here's a battle back for fifth position. Jim Crabtree Jr. has gotten by Ebling and Harvey Harrison. Harrison runs fourth. Brian Harrison in the 15 and Ben Ebling in the 44 battling it out for fifth. Side by side, lap after lap, wheel to wheel. Quite a battle. Ebling has two trips to victory lane in his Super Cup career. Second one coming just not that long ago at Lonesome Pine Speedway. Brian Harrison has not been to victory lane in the Super Cup Series, but looking to make his first ever trip. And if he continues to run the way he has here lately, it won't be long. Harrison still holding tough on the inside, but Ebling going where they're not, using the outside lane a long way around the Jennerstown Speedway. Still hanging in there, battling for that fifth position. Big crowd here at Jennerstown Speedway. They do an outstanding job of promotion. And we talked to general manager Bill Rebar about their marketing. As you said, a very technology-driven society. And you know, we're finding out that a lot of people aren't taking those big family vacations anymore because of economics. So they're looking at alternatives to do things close to home that are family-oriented, get the family out. And you know, they can come here several times opposed to taking that big trip to the beach. So we're seeing a lot of people come back because of that. Do you still think there's a fresh market for racing and getting families out to racing if the marketing was done well? Absolutely. I mean, we start from a 40 to 50 mile radius out and we work inward. Most people start inward and work outward. We want to work harder for those people that are further away that don't know about us. And as they come to the speedway, start spreading the word of mouth. But, you know, we've done some things on the internet this year that are unconventional as far as advertising, doing some targeting and tracking, but we still do the old bread and butter TV and radio and it works very well for us. They certainly have done an outstanding job here at Jennerstown Speedway Full House every time we come here for racing action. Up front it is heating up just a little bit. J.P. Crabtree has closed to within a half a car length of Brent Nelson. Took a peek last time out of turn two, trying to look to the inside, but neither one can afford to get caught up in too much of a battle because Jim Crabtree Jr. has caught the pair. It's a three-car freight train up front as they work off of turn two. J.P. Crabtree, about a half a car width lower that time on the 80 car, Brent Nelson. Nelson puts the car down on the flat, tries to get it to unload, de-wedge the car and turn the car and loosen it up just a little bit. Your leader is still Brent Nelson with J.P. Crabtree, Jim Crabtree, Harvey Harrison, and now Brian Harrison up the fifth. More Super Cup action right after this. The Super Cup Stock Car Series is brought to you by RacingJunk.com and by Stable 360 Performance. Use it every fill-up to keep your engine running cleaner, smoother, leaner, and stronger than ever. Riding with Paps here in the second of Twin 50s at Jennerstown Speedway, presented by United Tire and Service. 10th anniversary season for the Super Cup Stock Car Series, Larry Berg. Grandfather to the winner of race number one, Cody Robach. Started shotgun on the field with the seven cars, made his way up to seventh as he tries to work his way forward here this evening. Larry Berg, teammate with Stephen Cox, who also prior to the start pulled the 21 car down to the infield and is reported to have some brake issues with that 21 car. Here's Larry Wilcox in the 66 trying to hold off 
The seven car of Larry Berg. Paps will go to the inside. He's going to take over seventh. Drum Wilcox marching his way towards the front. See if he can make it a twin build tonight. Grandson Cody going to victory lane and perhaps Larry Berg, but they're going to have to get by these two. Brent Nelson, J.P. Crabtree. Well, add Jim Crabtree Jr. to that mix. The leaders have been battling it out and running very strong here tonight. Jim Crabtree closing in on the rear bumper of the 42 of his son. And earlier we talked to him about racing against his son as well as racing for a championship. It doesn't change how I drive him. Really, I hope that he wins this next 50 lapper. And if I finish second, you know, that'd be real good. You know, I can uh, win the championship, him win the race, and we can celebrate. Any adjustments for the track now that it's darker and cooler? Um, it's going to tighten up, so we've loosened the cars up, both of them some more, so whether we loosen them up enough or not, I don't know. J.P. Crabtree thinks it's quiet enough. He's right on the rear bumper of Brent Nelson and the 80 car looking for an opportunity to try to get by Nelson. Nelson slides up the racetrack in turn two. That may be the opening Crabtree was looking for. J.P. to the inside. Down to turn three. Maybe a little contact there. Up the racetrack goes Nelson. Here's J.P. Crabtree. He's going to take over the race lead. Brent Nelson back to second. Jim Crabtree continues to lurk about four, maybe five car lengths back as they work out of turn two and down the back straightaway. J.P. Crabtree looking for his first ever trip to victory lane, possibly tonight in Super Cup competition. Brent Nelson would like to turn it around and go for a third win in 2017 here at Jennerstown Speedway. Deeper in the field here is fourth and fifth, Harvey Harrison and Brian Harrison of cross start finish. And then even further back, just outside the top 10, a pretty good battle's been going on back here for 11th, 12th, and 13th. Brian Coltrider in the 07, the 71 of Trent Gosser, and the 33 of John Kamarinsky. Quite a spirited battle. Kamarinsky this time down to the inside. He's got local experience here at Jennerstown Speedway. And earlier today, we had a chance to catch up to him and learn how he came to Super Cup. Well, I've been driving late models since 1999, and this is a whole different thing. It's a heavier car. I always liked cup cars. I always wanted to drive one, even though they're a little bit slower in late model. But Lou Ansel, I was talking to him uh, the year before last. He goes, why don't you get into, because the late model car counts aren't what they used to be. So I thought, let's have a little backup plan here. And they only race, what, every three, four weeks. So there's not, like, pressure to be out every week. But I just figured it would be a new experience, and I was ready to try something. Ready for a new challenge. Well, he's done well so far, just outside the top ten right now, though. The man that's doing outstandingly well is J.P. Crabtree in that 42 car, showing the way over Brett Nelson with his father, Jim Crabtree, looming in the distance. We'll take a quick break. More Super Cup action from right here at Jennerstown Speedway. Coming your way with Crabtree, Nelson, Crabtree, Harrison, and Harrison, your top five. We'll be right back. The Super Cup Stock Car Series is brought to you by Extreme Awards and Personalization and by G-Force Racing Gear, your home for quality, innovation, and value. Uh, Cody Roma, winner of race number one there as we came back from break. Back on board with his number seven, but this time it's grandfather Larry Berg at the control. Berg starting shotgun on the field has made his way up to sixth position and that is fifth Brian Harrison directly ahead as they work down the back straightaway. Cody Robaugh posted his sixth win here at Jennerstown Speedway in Super Cup competition. He's got a lot of experience here at Jennerstown. We talked to John Kemerinsky earlier about his experience here at Jennerstown Speedway. And there's another racer in the field Likewise, with experience here, Jared Brocker has raced here at Jennerstown before and is somewhat of a local. We talked to him earlier. I started in 2012 at the Motor Drum Speedway in the four-cylinder uh, division in a Dodge Neon, actually, streetcar. Uh, we had some fun there. We won a championship in 2013 with that. And we moved up to the street stocks, had a little less fun. Uh, so we figured we're going to try this thing out. We've seen the races at the local tracks, the Motor Drome and Jennerstown, and 
I like the whole concept. It seems like it's a good group of guys, good group of people. Uh, and it just, it really seems like it's going to fit our lifestyle. We only, we only run a few races a year, um, and we're still able to be in the points hunt. So it just seems like it's, uh, it's more of our fit. Brocker had trouble earlier in race number one with a right front tire going down, but back underway and doing very well here tonight. Here is Kamarinsky about to go lap down to the race leader, J.P. Crabtree. Crabtree out front in the 42 car, trying to run away and hide and score his first ever victory here in Super Cup competition. Crabtree closes in on the 90 of Ron Langdon. Langdon about to go a lap down to the 42 of Crabtree as they work back to turn three. Langdon up the racetrack, Crabtree down low, he'll bypass and put another car between himself and second place Brett Nelson. Jim Crabtree Jr. continues to run in that third position. Kyle Cromer in competition for the first time here in 2017. He took over the controls of the 77 car also, starting shotgun on the field tonight. And Kyle, who blew an engine earlier in practice, talked to us about his opportunity. Yeah, he's gonna let me run it since I've having been having motor issues lately with mine. He's gonna give me an opportunity to actually get one race in for the season before I leave for the police academy. That is awesome. So what happened? Uh, what happened is that we believe we broke a rod again and it shot through the oil pan. All right. So what are your hopes for this evening? Uh, basically, finish the race. That's basically our. I've been our hope for a whole season to finish a whole race without having any issues. And now with a different mo with a different car, a different motor, we're hopefully we'll be successful with that. Well, let's hope so, Kyle. I can tell you from experience. I'm uh, well experienced in ventilating those oil pans, and it's not a lot of fun. Kyle, riding along with Kyle, by the way, as we go to turn three. Whoa, whoa, in trouble, Kyle. Around and into the wall over in turn three. Caution tonight here at Jennerstown Speedway as Kyle Cromer driving his dad's 77 car. Don't know if he got any help or not. Heavy damage to the left rear quarter panel of the 77 car. Let's see if we can get another look at it. On his onboard camera. Riding behind Trent Gosser into turn three. I don't know if he got any contact or not, but it definitely swapped ends and sang a little country music up there in three and four. You know the song, Hello Wall. So Cromer brings out the caution and not the way he wants to end his night here in his only outing in Super Cup competition for 2017. We've still got a race to the finish here tonight in the second of the Twin 50s and to crown a champion. It's Crabtree, Nelson, Crabtree, Harrison and Harrison, your top five, don't go away. More race action right after this break. The Super Cup Stock Car Series is brought to you by Performance Fiberglass Products and by 303, keeps your car looking new longer. Down to the deciding moments here at Jennerstown Speedway for the 2017 Super Cup Stock Car Series National Championship title as they were for the original start. J.P. Crabtree along with Brent Nelson side by side bringing them back to green down to turn one. J.P. will take the lead. Jim Crabtree Jr. to the inside of Brent Nelson. The 63 trying to get by the 80 but Nelson had a good run off of turn two. Has about three quarters of a car like maybe a half car like advantage over Crabtree through the middle of three and four but off the corner Jim Crabtree Jr. will take over second white flag in the air. J.P. Crabtree maybe on his way to his first ever trip to victory lane down to turn three the 42 car by himself his father in the 63 riding in that second spot it is a win number one for jp crabtree the muncie indiana driver heads to his first ever victory lane and here at jennerstown speedway lighting up those american racer tires smoke show for the fans here at Jennerstown Speedway as he celebrates his first ever victory. His father, Jim Crabtree Jr., already parked on the front straightaway. He will be your 2017 national champion, but it's J.P. Crabtree who got it done tonight, got by Brett Nelson and took it to victory lane, taking the helmet off. Olivia is on her way over to talk with a very happy race winner. J.P. Crabtree, congratulations on your first career win with the Super Cup Stock Car Series. 
You don't seem excited at all. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. This is actually my first feature win, so this is just awesome. That is fantastic. How was the track? The track was good and the car was even better. Um, I, I, I couldn't be happier with the way the car was running. Uh, we made a little bit of adjustment and it just worked. Uh, we were rolling through the corners, so just like I said, I got to thank everybody at USA Tire, Gannott Motorsports, Don Gannott for giving me the opportunity to drive the car, my mom and dad for giving me the engine, and just all my crew, Chris Mefford, James Kirby, my girlfriend Vanessa, my whole family, it, I, I really appreciate it. But I, I think we finished one, two points, won the last race of the year. I'm pretty happy. Fantastic job. Thank you, thank you. The Crabtree family is going to be hauling some hardware back to Muncie, Indiana. JP hoists the trophy in victory lane. Congratulations to him, but as well, congratulations to Jim Crabtree Jr. Not only is he the Northern Division champion, but the national champion for 2017 here in the 10th anniversary season. Jim Crabtree, not only are you the Northern Division champion, not only did your son just take first place for the final race of the season, but you are the national champion for 2017. Would you say this is a dream year? Oh yeah, that was real good. Um, that the, that race right there couldn't have been any different. I mean, that's what I wanted. I wanted JP to win, and because I knew all I had to do was start the race to win the championship. So I thought, well, if he can win the race, and I can finish second and win the championship, I mean, it's 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 great. It doesn't get any better than that. Awesome. Well, we are so happy for both of you. Congratulations. All right. Thank you. Brent, I felt like for several laps, it was all about you and JP and that battle going on there. Tell me about it. You know, JP run me hard all race and, uh, you know, kudos to him. I mean, it's his first win and, uh, you know, he earned it. He worked for it. I made him work hard for it. And, uh, you know, going into one, uh, I pushed it in, but my car just got loose, you know, right in the center of the track, you know, it would just skate up and, uh, but, uh doggone it, we wanted that championship and, <laughs> I guess that means I'll have to come back next year. Yeah, you just have to keep coming back. Good job. All right, thank you. With that third place finish, Brent Nelson will finish third in the national championship point standings behind J.P. Crabtree. Remainder of the finishing order, we see Harvey Harrison finishing fourth, Larry Berg from the back of the pack to finish fifth, Brian Harrison, Ben Edling, Ron Langdon, Larry Wilcox, and Jared Brocker scores his first ever top ten in Super Cup competition. For more information, log on to www.supercupstockcarseries.com. For Olivia Pritchett and the entire Sop with Motorsports crew. I'm Gene Crane, and we'll see you next time.